All right, so that's the uh, intake manifold off the, off the lid. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm uh, going to start taking apart my RB30 that I bought to build a uh, 2530 for my Stagia. I've actually already done it. I'm not going to show you what's on the floor behind me. So we'll just uh, cut straight to the action now. No, now. Alright, so taking the, um, the valve cover off uh, was pretty straightforward, just a bunch of um, you know, screws holding that on. And then it was a matter of taking the uh, timing gear off. There were four 12mm bolts holding that on. Then for the fun part, these head bolts are ridiculous. Um, they're 10mm Allen bolts, like internal hex kind of thing, as you can see there. And they are ridiculously tight. I'm not sure if you can see that mark on there, but it's so important to make sure that this actually goes inside as far as it can go. Uh, because there's this buildup of uh, like oil and dirt and sludge in the top of every head bolt that actually stops this from going into it. So I had to clean it out with like a, um, let's put a little bit of degreaser and a flathead screwdriver and just really uh, gently just kind of scooped out as much as I could from it. So that's about that's as far as I can go in now. Before I cleaned them out, it was only about half that much. So you can imagine trying to put all that twisting force onto an area that small. I did start to strip one of the head bolts. So that's when I realized I had to clean it out so I could go in further. So be careful. All right, one row to go. So that's all the head bolts out. So bright here. So I've got all the head bolts out and I've now realized that I have to also remove the intake manifold to get to the last couple of bolts that hold the heads of the block. So I probably should have done that first, but here we are. Yeah, intake manifold looks to be a bunch of 12 mil bolts um, holding it onto the intake ports. Um, and hopefully that's all that's required for that. Let's give that a go now. What a dumb spot for bolt. So under the intake manifold, there's uh, you know 12 millimeter bolts all the way along here. And the same thing for the other side of the port, like the the top end of the port, but those are easier to get to from the top uh, with a ring spanner. So I'm taking these bottom ones off just with a ratchet and a socket, and then the ring spanner for the top ones from the top. Fourteen millimeter, again, missing, 12 and 14. How good is that? So now that um, support bracket's out of the way, this should just be able to come straight off. I'm hoping. Oh, you! Yeah. Well, there you go, one RB30 manifold. All right, looking at the motor again now with the intake manifold off, I've noticed something that I don't think is meant to be there. <laughs> what is that? 
All right, so that's the intake manifold off the RV30. I've got it on the floor here. Just gonna have a quick look around it. This is no use to me. Uh, now with the 25 head that I'm gonna be pulling out of the stage here to put on this. So uh, this is gonna get sold, but I just thought it'd be interesting to have a, a bit of a look at it. It's interesting. Really small throttle body here. I don't know how big that is. I might measure that actually. So it looks like it's about about 55 millimeters, definitely not uh, 60. I think the uh, throttle body in my stage here with the RB25 is 60, 63 millimeters or something around there. So that's a that's a decent increase in um, throttle size from say 55 on the RB30 to a, I'm pretty sure it's 63 or 66 millimeters or something on the um, on the RB25. Uh, that's a that's a decent jump in size. And there's some coolant hoses, vacuum barbs. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing else too interesting on that. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so thankfully, I think we're down to just a couple of bolts left. Um, they look to be all the way around the outside. It's just uh, about a 10 millimeter there, there, basically on each corner. And I think that's about it. And then um, we should be ready to pull the head off. I hope. Another one of these bolts holding the head together. I think that might be it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. What RB30 head? So that's my RB30 block. Yeah, she's a bit rusty inside. Um, definitely going to need to be taken apart fully and um, start looking at some oversized pistons and uh, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to pop this back up on the crane and move it to its new, what I'll call forever home, um, just over on the other side of the garage. So we'll get that up on the crane now and uh, go move it around. So this is about where I'm going to leave it for now. I know I need to get it up on the stand, but I just don't have the right length bolts that actually fits through the, uh, the barrels on the stand and then into the block. So that's something I'll do between now and the next video. I'll get those bolts, I'll get this up on the stand. I've got a mate coming around, he's going to help me uh, measure everything internally in this motor, figure out what, uh, what I'll need like to do to the motor and to like what parts to buy moving forwards. He works at a machine shop, he's a rad dude, so uh, hopefully get to show you guys a little bit about that process, which will be a first for me. You know, I've, I've never done anything quite this in depth with a car. So this is going to be a learning experience for me and I'm glad that you guys will be along for the ride as well. Uh, yeah, it'd be really cool to tear into this RB30 block and check out uh, what condition the pistons, rods, bearings, all that sort of stuff are in. So once we know what it's like inside, then we'll be able to kind of figure out what we need and um, buy the right stuff moving forwards and start building that thing up on the side. Hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.